What's good, YouTube? Car if I can't hear Aqua Life, baby, you already know how it is. Well, except today, guys, we're gonna be celebrating that Link Life. Um, you know, the Aqua Force Space Division, as I call it. Uh, but pretty much, um, I just, uh, I just won our DMV Dynasty Cup Championship Tournament, um, for the second time in my career. So I do have plenty of tops, but, um, this is the second time in my career that I was actually able to, uh, win it, take the gold home. Um, and I'm very excited that I was able to do it with, uh, my main man, first round draft pick, uh, Chaos Breaker. Um, uh, you know... My, you know, my throne has been, you know, sat upon too much by other people. So it was good to, you know, sit back in my throne up at the top of the DMV, you know, and, uh, you know, I like the view from here. I like being on top. I like my seat, I like my throne, I like my own, my ass on it only, nobody else. Uh, but yes, really happy that I was able to win it with uh, my second favorite clan, uh, favorite boss unit, um, uh, you know, within Link Jokers. Uh, Chaos Breaker, really excited in it. Um, I t I got second place at the Maryland um, uh, ARG State um, the Saturday prior to this past Saturday. Um, so I got second with it, and um, you know I'm like you know if it ain't broke don't fix it. So and I, and I felt like I was really on a roll with the deck. Um, you know got some big help. Shout out to uh, my boy Adam Winter and uh, Gabe Domino Paris Twenty One. Um, they gave me a lot of advice, matchup knowledge, deck building, things like that, uh, to help me improve upon, um, you know, improve upon my game and whatnot. And, um, you know, their advice definitely had helped, helped me, uh, help carry me uh, all, you know, all the way to this, uh, to this win. And, um, you know, I'm really appreciative of that. You know, I give credit where credit is definitely due. Uh, but yeah, uh, very excited that I won with this deck, um, it's been a long time since, it's been a long time, but uh, Chaos Breaker definitely, but yeah, um, again, since top aiding the ARG and doing really well with the deck at Locals, I, I figured that, you know, just, just, let's just continue on with this streak, uh, this is like the last big tournament for, uh, for a bit, and so I was like, let's continue on rolling and, um, see what else Chaos Breaker has, uh, you know, let's, let's get through it, so, uh, did that, was able to win with it, and I'm very excited with the results. So, um, I do have, a, a pre I already have a deck profile up. I'm just going to kind of go through the cards, just show you, you know, a, a quick summary of my list. You know, only like two or three cards have really changed in a sense. Uh, and then I'll g give you guys a tournament report. So, um, let's get to it. Alright guys, so, uh, obviously starter was, um... Starter was still Carbon. Carbon's just outstanding starter. Four Karina heal triggers. Um, really good with the new G-Guard. Uh, that unflip is really, really valuable. Uh, four Paradigm Shifts because, you know, Paradigm Shift is one of the best, to me, one of the better crits in the game. Just being able to go back um, and refill the deck. Um, got some really good advice. Hold on to these till late game till your deck gets a little bit more thin. Then start sending them back if you, you know, start sending them back so you can, um, so you, you know, so you can hit them. You have a higher chance of hitting them. And then uh, pretty much just 12 other, you know, or whatever. Eight other crit triggers. Uh, so 12 crit, 4 heal. It's very simple. Uh, Chaos Breaker has a lot of draw power. You will deck out if you run draw triggers. Um, test out the draw trigger build once. I saw the issues with it. Uh, four of the unflipping heal Cosmo Wreath. You gotta run Cosmo Wreath. Um, the unflip is too invaluable. Uh, for Lemon Break Enablers, definitely the card that you want to get out early and often. Um, it stays on the board as your booster, and it's pretty much, if you ride Bringer, it's what gets you to, uh, to Chaos. Uh, very important card for this deck, actually. Um, three of Destiny Dealer, the Stride Enabler, you know, to help Stride. Uh, and then three Zinc. Zinc is a very good card. Uh, counter charge, put her in a soul, counter charge two, soul charge two. Um, use, 
I, I, you know, I really, and I'll talk about my tournament report with her, but I did misplay with her quite a bit in terms of, um, in terms of, you know, when I actually used her, my timing of when I actually used her, you know, the play I wanted to go for versus the play that I should have gone for. And I'll talk a bit more about that during the tournament report. But yeah, definitely, uh, three zinc is pretty fine. I usually only want to use her skill like, what, once a game, twice a game. Um... Then we have four copies of uh, Iron, <clears throat> the 11K Attacker, four Chaos, and, you know, on call, lock a card. Really strong card. Really like the fact that he's an 11K Attacker, so I can just leave him by, you know, I can leave him by himself, and we can just poke 11K at the opponent. Um, 18K, you know, if your opponent was like a 8K Vanguard or something like that or whatever it is, but... That 11k is really good. Uh, four copies of Photon. No, not much explanation needed. Photon's just a perfect card for his deck. Free lock. And then three County Maker. Uh, our Sword Me of the Deck gets us to the cards we need. Gets us that Limbrick Nailer. Gets us Zinc. I really like to use her to grab Zinc um, sometimes. Especially if I need that Unflip. Uh, four copies of Bringer. Uh, Bringer gets Chaos. It's in it's in his flavor text. Oh, chaos appear. Um, I don't now. The only issue with him is sometimes is that if you don't open up with your grade twos, and I learned that you know when you mulligan, you got to keep your grade twos. But if you don't open up with your grade twos, and you do have him, um, it kind of it kind of sucks, especially if you can't lock another back row because he needs two car targets to be locked for him to use the limit break ability to ride chaos from deck. So that's just something to uh, make it. But you know, you can always just ride it, lock a back row, survive that turn, then go into chaos universe, and uh, you know, hopefully by then, you know, you will have the ability to lock you know two cards on board so that you can go into um, chaos as soon as possible. Uh, and then four copies of my main man, Chaos Breaker. First round draft pick. Love him to death. Uh, great card overall. Um, definitely facilitator of uh, a lot of the wins, obviously. The, the cards you want to be on with this deck. Uh, even though sometimes riding Bringer first, then Striding, or just riding Bringer first and then searching him out because, you know, I can keep him in my hand as either extra stride fodder or as a rear guard. Um, and then I'll have Bringer, just superior uh, just superior ride Chaos Breaker uh, from the deck of my opponent's turn. So it gives me a little bit of deck thin and the other Chaos Breaker in my, Chaos Breaker or Breakers in my hand, uh, you know, become... Uh, you know, get you get an extra usages either as stride fodder or rear guards. All right, and on to the stride deck. Uh, for strides, um, four copies of Chaos Universe, the conductor, the stride zone, just the engine. This guy is just outstanding. Uh, being able to force our opponent to call a card out of their hand to the field in, in the circle that we choose locked is outstanding. Um, he, he is such a cool card. Oh my gosh, I love this card so much. He's definitely your first stride and second stride a lot of the time. Um, sometimes you will be going into Big Crunch, which we do run four of. Sometimes you'll be going to Big Crunch, your first stride, depending on, or second stride, depending on, um, you know, how the game site is and how the game's going in a sense. But, uh, Big Crunch, Omega Locking the Column's good, just more or less to extend control. Uh, you know, I always say Chaos is the king of control, and this is one of those cards that really definitely helps out with that. Um, ran two copies of Amnesty Messiah, more or less for the mirror, but otherwise, you know, I was thinking about running Flagellate Messiah, but... Uh, you know, play testing flagellate, play testing this. I figured there's not too big of a difference, and I can go into him actually twice. Um, so in the mirror match, I can at least unlock you know twice uh, with his ability. So that's why I'm running two cups of amnesty, and it's just you know extra stride, obviously. Um, G guardians, uh, screw. I still played screw. I wanted to. Ch I wanted. I was thinking about changing him out, but. Uh, Screw actually definitely came in handy and saved my butt in um, in like two games. Um, to Maxwell, I'm taking. I need to take. I'm going to take one out for another Karina, uh, for the reason that since I do run the new heel triggers, I can just get a base unflip 
Um, but just ran two Maxwell. One Maxwell was used to guard. The other one was used to more or less as a flip target for Karina. And then uh, Lacus Karina. Lacus Karina, and I'll tell you about this when I get to my shadow, when I talk about shadows. Um, this card definitely won me my matches against, uh, you, you know, against Shadow Paladins. Got me through because I'm able to lock their back row. And uh, I was able to prevent them from, you know, restanding with Duke. And then two, and then I ran two Alt Wilders, the G, two GBA Alt Wilder. Alt Wilder is such a good card. Um, there, you know, against when you go against decks like Luard and whatnot, you will be getting into long games because they have infinite perfect guards. So, um, Alt Wilder definitely puts in a ton of work. Uh, being able to call their, you know, call majority of their hand out to the board. You know, you pretty much the ideal play is that you kill their board the turn before you go into him and then uh, force them to call four more cards from their hand. And then, you know, you just put, you just push them, you just push them hard. So, um, really, really good card. Uh, definitely run to, I had to use, I actually had to use him twice. Um, in a game against Grand Blue against Night Rose, um, it got that that intense. Uh, he was just able to build up a heavy defense, was healing, per, had perfect guards. Um, I was kind of the same way in a sense, but really a back and forth game, and I did need him twice. All right, and on to the tournament report. All right, so um, as for the tournament report, uh, round one I played against Luard, and you're going to hear that name quite often. Uh, played against the ward round one. Um, we went to, we went to game three. Game, t game I won game one just through sheer control and then Alt Wilder. Game two I had to uh, I had to G assist three times and I whiffed all three times and it just was not pretty. We just was like I I, I we just wasn't getting out of it. Um, and then game three game three uh game three uh my opponent f uh didn't have any soul for duke so he couldn't do uh, his restand play um even though i feel like i had the guard to guard depending on how many triggers he got during his turn um uh his his re the, the, him not being able to restand due to not having any soul really hurt his capabilities of being able to um have a shot at winning um and then round two Round two, I played against Night Rose, a uh, really strong, really strong Night Rose player. Uh, I won that one 2-0. Game one, he was grade stuck, and uh, really just, I, I was too far ahead by the time he uh, was able to get to, you know, by the time he just and got to three, I was a bit too far ahead, and uh, I pretty much had control of that more or less the entire game. Game, <clears throat> excuse me, game two, game two was a really strong, really tight game back and forth um i had to use alt wilder twice uh thank goodness paradigm shift dragon exists because i was able to send him back uh really late in the game but um yeah i had to use alt wilder twice to force his hand down uh to the board and um you know take advantage of him not having you know the shield that he you know currently built up so uh definitely a really really close game there um, round three, uh, round three, I played against, um, I played against Luard round three, and actually, um, you guys can actually go to, uh, my friend Zag Zag's channel, and I'll put the link in the description below, but it has, um, the entire stream of uh the dmv dynasty cup there i'm i've been you know since you know you're sitting in the top spot you're generally on there a little bit more often um you guys can see my matches uh against um shadow paladins you know against the shadow paladin player um and you know you know my, my, my other matches throughout the rest of the tournament um except for like two i think but uh yeah so Played against Shadows. Um, that game went back. I really misplayed heavily. Like, I, I feel like I kept misplaying with, like, you know, Zinc and whatnot. Um, I wasn't timing my Zinc correctly. Uh, I just was not putting her into the soul. You know, it's like, look, just put her in the soul. Get your soul charge, counter charge. So, um, I starved myself for counter blasts uh, at points. Um, I starved myself for soul at points in a way. And I got better with usage throughout the tournament, but it took me a while. And so, it just made me struggle through games more so which is why like I, uh, I lost game one because of that 
game two, um, game two, I was hitting my triggers, um, and so I was able to, you know, I crit, I double crit him at two damage, and then I was just able to push him. He didn't really have a hand size, wasn't able to really build up uh, advantage, and um, my next turn, I was just able to Chaos Universe um, his smaller hand and then go in, uh, and then game three, game three was still was another back and forth game, you know, that perfect guard, just you know, perfect guard, uh, Esros and Bilal Al back and forth, but. Um, I believe I alt wildered at the very end. I believe I alt wildered and uh, was able to get enough cards out of his hand to take uh, take the win. I'm not 100 percent sure, but like I said, you guys can go and uh, check that game three. Um, then I played against uh, Blaster. Um, played against Blaster, uh, the Blaster Exceed deck. Uh, it's a good buddy from my from our locals. Um, he, uh, pretty much, I, I was able to win both games, um, game one, game one, I was just, I just had a lot of, you know, pretty much total control was able to, to go in, even though I was, uh, at damage pretty high early, um, you know, I was still able to just, you know, bring back control and whatnot, then game two, um, game two, I, I think I had to G-assist that game, but uh, again, I was able to maintain some solid control over the Blaster deck, was able to limit the usage of, like, Alfred and whatnot. I had to take take, take one risky guarding decision, no guarding, at three damage, just hoping that he wouldn't double crit me, and he didn't. He just hit one crit, so... <sighs> That was uh that was that was that was lucky for me. But yeah, I was able to win that 2 0. And then round five, uh the last round, uh played against another Luard deck, uh one of my teammates, Sean. Um I lost that one. Uh I lost I lost that 0 2. Uh really bad for me. Um both game pretty much pretty much both games I was at five damage uh by the time I rode grade three. Um too much, a little bit too much early game pressure plus crits, you know, did me in. So, and I really couldn't make. I tried to make a recovery through control and whatnot, but um, my back was against the wall the entire game, and I didn't get uh, per some perfect guards when I needed it. Um, and then uh, top eight, top eight, uh, top eight. I played against the Luar player that I played in round three. Again, um, now against him. What literally won me the game in game three, or yeah, in game three against him, and then it, besides Altwater, and then again in game uh, three of our top eight match, because game one, I went through control, game two, I decked out, and then game three, pretty much, um, he did have Duke in his hand, and I, I think he did draw... Uh, uh, drive check that stand trigger that counts as two retires, but um, I had Lacus Karina in my hand, and so I would have been able to lock his Karina, his uh, his attack, and lock you know lock one of my cards, lock his back row, and prevent him from sacking two cards so he could restand with Duke. So I was so if you know so so when he did go to Duke, he just swung vanilla because how I won in the game three was I locked. I locked his back row, prevented him from restanding with Duke. Um, and in this one, uh, I think he just kept the card. He kept the cards in hand and just did a vanilla swing with Duke because he was preparing for the lock as Karina. Don't know if he saw me drive check it or not, but um, he was just. Uh, I think it was you know kind of like condition conditioned him for that for that type of move uh, to really stun his play and prevent him from restanding and losing you know a 10k shield from his hand. Um, and then. Uh, I decked and I decked out game two. He hit all four heal triggers, all four of them. They all went off. He went from four to, he went from five to two essentially. Uh, but then top four, top four I played against Tachi Kaze's, and that's actually on stream as well. Um, both game, all all of our games were ugly. All three of our games were were just were just ugly. Um, game one, uh, I believe I won game one. I was able to. More or less, you know, he, he was grade stuck. And then I was just able to uh, control, take advantage of that, and push um, with two 18K columns and a 16K Vanguard column. And then, uh, well, you know, he was at five. Then game two, game two, uh, you know, he pushed too hard, a little bit too hard early game. I had to G assist as well. Um, and it, and I just couldn't get control back. I was just, you know, struggling and whatnot. It was just, it was just really bad. And then game three, game three, he actually had to G assist twice he had a g assist for a grade two and a grade three um 
and uh, I was just able to, and I, I think, I, I don't know if I had a G assist or not, I can't remember, but um, I know that I just was able to just maintain some control. I was stuck on Bringer because uh, I, I think I, I, mess, I messed up at one point. Um, I shouldn't have got rid of my limb break enabler, even though I had one in hand. I don't know what I was thinking, uh, but I thought I had one in my hand, but it was actually my damage when I looked, I think. Uh, something went wrong when I should, I shouldn't have G assisted a card that I, you know, pretty sure one card in my hand I should not have G assisted. But, um, nonetheless, he was graced up twice. I was able to make a recovery. Um, and then by the time he got to three, I believe I was, you know, it would just go into Chaos Universe and, uh, win the game there. Um, and then in finals, uh, finals, I played against another teammate in my head, Howard. He was playing seven C's grade one rush. Um, and you guys can see that on the stream as well. Uh, grade one rush against Chaos Breakers, more or less a favorable matchup in my favor. Um, I pretty much both games locked him out of being able to do anything. Uh, game two, he, he, he misrode heavily. Uh, he didn't ride his grade one. He rode Chappie the Ghosty, um, and, uh, that, I believe, set him back a turn, and, um, even though I had a G assist for a three, the reason why I went and G assisted for a three, um, is because he was a turn behind, and I wanted to build up as much advantage, as much pressure as possible, so, uh, that's why I went to, you know, G assist into a three and, um, go in, but yeah, uh, that's it, guys, um, thank you for watching, as always, uh, I'm very happy that I was able to win um, Dynasty Cup with my main man, Chaos Breaker. Uh, back on the throne, you know, the king is back on his throne. Real happy about that. And, uh, yeah, really excited, happy, and definitely looking forward to future progress with uh, my main man, Chaos Breaker. Uh, I'm going to be getting into some other decks as well, updating... Um, you know, getting the rest of things from my Night Rose deck, uh, working on some different things with Aqua Force, and uh, yeah, so real excited. I'm gonna ride this high, um, you know, till I fall off. Hopefully, I won't. But uh, my seat, my seat on the throne, the royal throne of the DMV, is real comfortable. And yeah, all right, Carfight King, you already know how it is. Aqua Life, baby, Link Life, baby, Aqua Force, Space Division. You already know how it is. Peace.